3.4 is titled Applications of Set Theory. So let's look at a problem. Rachel surveyed grade 12 students about how they communicated with friends over the previous week. 66% called on a cell phone, 76% texted, 34% used a social networking site, 56% called and texted, 18 called and used social networking, 19 texted and used social networking, and 12 used all three forms of communication. So what percent of students used at least one of these three forms of communication? How we can denote that is it's the number of students that use social networking, or texting, or cell phone. Okay. So the Venn diagram represents the following sets. C is the students that called on a cell phone, T is the students who texted, and S is the students who used a social networking site. So I'm going to start off with the number of students that did all three. So I have 12% of students did all three. Three. All right, 12% of students used all three. 19% texted and used social networking. So 19% texted, texted and used social networking. But I've already have 12 in there, so I need 19 minus 12 gives me 7% of students. All right, next it says 18% called on a cell phone and used a social networking site. 18% called on a cell phone and used social networking. 18 minus 12 gives me 6. 56% called on a cell phone and texted. So 12 minus 56 gives me 44. Then 34% just used social networking. So 34% used social networking. Sorry, in total, 34% use social networking. So 34 minus 12 minus 6 minus 7 gives me 9. Just use social networking. 76% texted. So 76 minus 44 minus 12 minus 7 gives me 13% just texted or only texted. And 66% called on a cell phone. 66 minus 44 minus 12 minus 6 gives me 4% of students just called. So now what percent of students used at least one of these three forms of communication? Well, let's add up all of these and see what we get. 44 plus 12 plus 6 plus 7 oops, plus, sorry, plus 13 plus 9, plus 4, if we add those all up, 40, 60, 70, 80, 95. So 95 percent of students used at least one of these three ways to get in contact with friends. There's another way to do this other than filling in a Venn diagram. It's to use the principle of inclusion and exclusion. So the number of elements in the union of S, T, and C is equal to the number of elements in S, which was 34 percent, plus the number in T, which was 76%, plus the number in C, which was 66%, minus the union, sorry, the intersection of S and T, so minus 18, minus the intersection of S and C, minus 19, oh, maybe I got those backwards, that's okay, minus the intersection of T and C, which was 56, plus the intersection of all three. Well, we had 12 that intersected all three. If we calculate that, we get 95% of all students used one of those three ways to communicate. So the key ideas. Set theory is useful for solving many types of problems, including internet searches, database queries, data analysis, games, and puzzles. To represent the three intersecting, intersecting sets with a Venn diagram, use three intersecting circles. For example, in the following Venn diagram, you have your intersecting circles, A, B, and C, and all of the different parts labeled. Need to know. You can use concepts related to sets to search for websites on the internet. What you want to search for, you can put in an in exact quotation marks, then you can connect words with and to search for sites that contain both. 
You can also connect words with or to search for sites that contain either. When you're solving a, pause, a puzzle or a problem, it's often useful to visualize the problem, first identify which sets are defined by the context, then figure out how the sets overlap. Finally, identify regions of the overlaps that are of interest in the puzzle or problem. It's often advisable to consider how much is known about each region and to use the information about the region that is most known to deduce or figure out information about regions that are less well known. A systematic approach will result in answers that are easier to verify.